Well, we are a very uh, big user of our own software plat platform, ClickView. Uh, we use it to run many aspects of our business to provide us uh, insights and analytics around our financial processes, how we run our sales organization, how we track and report on competitive trends and competitive win rates. Um, there's a, a wide variety of uh, implementations that we use, including the establishment of dashboards uh, for management and executives to manage the metrics that are most important to them and their part of the business. Well, the process we use internally for making a technology decision is very similar to how we encourage our customers to make technology decisions. So first we'll start with what business problem are we trying to solve and drive a deep understanding of the challenges that we have in that area. We'll evaluate different providers of technology that we think are suitable to solve that business problem. And we'll build a small internal team of all the stakeholders within the company who are going to benefit from or have to participate in that new technology decision and implementation and ultimately the use of the technology. Well, technology decisions do require a, a bit of courage because although you need to be diligent in your evaluation of the technology, and finance certainly plays an important role in that. In the end, there will always be some unknowns. And that's where it's important to ensure that there's a strong collaborative approach internal to the company and commit to the decision and ensure that you spend time focused on how the new technology is going to impact employees internal to the company so that you can Make sure the, the organization is ready to adopt the new technology. That usually will allow you to minimize that, that piece of risk that is always there uh, with the ambiguity associated with some technology decisions. Well, I think it's important to build an internal steering group for the technology implementation that includes membership from uh, many organizations, the organizations who are going to be impacted by the technology. So involve those organizations in the decision and the evaluation process of the technology up front, but importantly also in the development and internalization of that technology and post go live the review of the results so that everyone feels accountable for its success. how we interact with our customers. It's all about helping the user do a better job at their core function. Unfortunately, many other technology installations or implementations can be quite disruptive. And in those situations, you really have to plan well and ensure that the organization is ready. And you have to take your own decisions around how long you think the technology will, be, will take to be implemented and how much it's going to cost. Typically there is uh, some excitement about the new technology and it can somehow uh, sometimes cloud your understanding of the, the time it's going to take and the cost. So listen to yourself, not necessarily just the vendor from whom you're buying uh, the software from and importantly get customer references from that technology provider understand from several of their customers whether they were able to implement the new technology on time and on budget, or if there were overruns and delays, factor those into your analysis up front. Well, CFOs have to be trusted business partners within the organization, and that applies to te technology purchases as well. So broaden your network, open up lines of communication with your internal stakeholders, involve them in the decision process around technology and the development and the implementation, and you'll have a much better chance of success.